Andrew Grill, CEO at CRED. You've just talked about talent in the age of social business at the Discover Sourcing Conference. If you were, a, if you were to condense the message of your session, what would it be? Well, we talked about the issue of social media becoming social business and how companies need to actually get ready in terms of their infrastructure and their talent to actually become a social business. I asked one of the um, attendees after the conference, what's the one thing that he took away? He said, it, it scared this out of me because he now realises that there's so much more that they need to be doing as a business. They also need to be finding different people who have the ability to actually talk about social in the C-suite. So we talked about what a social business mean. Uh, I gave them a lot of tips about what candidates should be doing to improve their visibility, how you can use social and digital to increase your footprint, also how sources should be using these networks to actually find people in a more non-traditional way. It's not about tweeting out your jobs, it's about connecting with people, it's about understanding more about candidates. There are so many uh, ways now you can actually uh, discover what candidates are about using social and their, their footprint. Uh, and I gave them some personal examples as well. I pointed them to a whole heap of uh, research explaining why social business is the future. Um, but really move beyond just Twitter and Facebook uh, being what's interesting and then how that moves deep inside the organisation and what it means for sourcing, uh, sourcing people. Uh, can I just ask a question based on that? It's, um, how, how mature are organisations at doing these kinds of things? It's really early days. I mean, a lot of companies are still stuck in the social media place where, for them, metrics of how many likes and followers I have is a success metric, which is wrong. The smart ones, and I, I call that Burberry as being smart enough, their CEO, Angel Aarons, is smart enough to say, I don't have all the answers. But my customers and my staff are all under 30. They have the answers. So I'm going to actually build a council, an executive council of the young 30-somethings that get this space and actually get them to advise me on, on what I should be doing. So some companies in their C-suite, their CEOs, are smart enough to say, I don't have all the answers. Let's get the answers from our own staff. Andrew, thank you very much. You're welcome.